Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today basically I'm going to be doing episode 2 of my series Pack a Hybrid and yeah I've just came out of the shower so like my hair is all in a mess but whatever, anyway let's get into this EA have released these premium gold 13 packs that are one item better than normal packs so I don't know, I'm just going to open three and then <coughs> see what the three pla- see what the bet. Jesus man, see what the three best players are and then build a hybrid around it. So I'll just skip these and we get no one. Yay. Says CM to cam. So the best players at the minute are Paul oh my god man. Saihi. Who the hell is he? He plays for Montepellier. Oh well I'll just store everything in my club. So I hope I get some rare players to build this hybrid with. We're going to get Cahill on the front again. So we're going to improve our look. And we get Samuel. So Syria link off there. Uh, anyone else? Not really. So, so far it's Samuel and that Montpellier CDM. I really hope it's not CDM and centre-backs like it was last episode. Because it's so hard trying to build a hybrid. And I'll probably end up having to use a similar formation, if not the same, to the last episode. I want to try and make this different not boring so I'll have on the front of this who's he gonna give us you're having a laugh CDMs again oh my god um right so I think Papadopoulos and Fernando would make more interesting than mm, uh, right I'm gonna say Papadopoulos because I'm gonna pick one from each pack so I'll do the Montpellier I'll do this one and I'll do Samuel so I'll be back when I've built the team okay so this is the team I've built um, it does have a hundred chemistry which I'm happy about uh, I did manage to uh, what do you call it hybridize it I didn't really think I'd be able to do this well I suppose. Uh, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out anyway. There is uh, five nationalities and only three leagues but you know it's a bit better. Uh, so in there we have Roberto um, and then obviously we have Papadopoulos as one of the players in the pack. Samuel being the other one and Sahili being the other one. Uh, left back we have Paul Bass, I've put him there purely for chemistry reasons, but he does have 88 pace, so he does look pretty good. Um, obviously Samuel, as I've just said. And then Jonathan, since he is the best right back for Inter Milan, and I needed him for chemistry reasons. He also has 84 pace and 80 dribbling, so he does look pretty good. Um, can't wait to try him out. Cambiasso, who was originally a DM, I think, so I bought him as a CM, so if you do ever want to build this team or try it out, uh, you would need a position card, I would think. Um, then we have, obviously, Sahili being one of the players I've got in a pack. Uh, Marvo is another position changed player. I think I got him as a centre attacker mid and then paid 700 coins to get him as a centre mid. Then we have our only informer this team. I could have... Well, I'll tell you in a sec. Um, Cabela, who has 81 pace, 82 dribbling. I decided to try his inform. I mean, it cost me 19,250. Uh, then we have Menes as a striker who does look pretty good. Last FIFA, I think he was a winger, a uh, right wing, if I'm not mistaken. So trying him as a striker should be pretty good alongside Palacio. I mean, they have similar stats. 85 pace, 81 shooting and 84 dribbling for Palacio. 86 pace, 87 dribbling, 74 shooting for Menes. They, but, oh no, uh, Palacio has 3 star skill and 3 star weak foot. Menes has 4 star skill and 4 star weak foot, they both are ridiculously cheap, Palacio 800 coins, Menes 750, I could have went with Melito in form instead of Palacio, but I've tried Melito's normal so I wanted to try Palacio this FIFA because I did enjoy him in FIFA 13. 
Right, well, I'm going to play some games with this team and then I'll review them during some of the highlights. And yeah, tell me, I'll tell you my three favourite players on this team and whether or not I think it is a good team. So yeah, I'll speak to you in a sec, I suppose. Right, so the team. Um, I did enjoy Palacio and Menez as a partnership, to be honest. They are very, very good, and I what I really like about Menez is his four-star skill and four-star weak foot. You could really see that. Another player who surprised me in the team was Marvo. He really, really did shine, and so did uh, Holbas, the left-back. I enjoyed him as well. Um, the defence wasn't great. Uh, I did concede a lot. The goalkeeper was average, but that's to be expected. He's a non-rare goalkeeper. Uh, players I was disappointed with are Cambiasso and Samuel, I would say. They stood out, I didn't enjoy them at all, they didn't seem to do much. Cambiasso never seemed to really get the ball too much and Samuel just la lasped in defence. But yeah, my three favourite players have to be Hulbas, I'd probably say Marvo and Menez. So yeah, if you want to try the team out, by all means try it out and let me know what you like think of it, but for me, as I say, Hobas, Marbo, and Menez were my favourites, so yeah, I'll just let the highlight, the music play for the rest of this video, which isn't very long, but yeah. If you have enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content, and yeah, peace.